Okay. So Jade is mixing the epoxy for three minutes. I set the timer for him. Anytime mixing epoxy, you got to make sure to really get the edges of the cup, the bottom, to get the hardener and the uh, resin mixed really well. Do you know what you're gonna what you're gonna pour? Epoxy. No, no, no. What colors did you choose? Emerald green, sapphire blue. Okay, and then from visual memory, what kind of design do you think you're gonna do? Marble. You're gonna marble them together? With white. With white? Okay. All right. I upside down. This is the emerald green. I want the majority of it to be emerald green, so this cup has the most epoxy. Only one to stop. Let's go ahead and squeeze it in. How dark do you want it? Just more lighter, but lighter? still okay. mostly green. Do a good squeeze. Okay, stop there. And let's mix that up. Here's a paintbrush. And Jay didn't want to use mica powders. He wanted translucent colors. Okay, that's kind of like the lightest jade green. If we add a little bit more, we'll get a little darker jade. Yeah. Uh, to your right. I mean, left. Right. right. No, to your right. Okay, squeeze. Uh, do one more squeeze like that. Okay, try that. Let's mix that up. About how dark of a green? You want like a medium jade emerald green? Sure. Okay. Kind of scoop it like you do with a spoon with yep, hot chocolate so it mixes evenly all the way down. I don't do this with hot chocolate. With hot chocolate, I do that. With eggs, I do this. Oh, okay. Okay. That is... That's a pretty green. Okay. That's a real pretty... It's about a medium, okay. a medium emerald green. Okay, we'll okay. set that aside. And then what color are you going to do in the big cup? Sapphire. Okay. Sapphire. And how dark do you want the sapphire? About the same tone, or do you want it darker than the green? <clears throat> you know the color of those glacier caves when the moonlight shining through? Yeah. Will this get that there? That kind of ominous blue? That ominous blue? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's start with that. There you go, make sure to get the edges. Okay, lift your paintbrush up so I can see the light through. So if it, like, I can see the epoxy coming off. Okay, that's a real pretty ominous blue. Yep. Okay. All right. Okay, so let's take there. the pigments there. off your frame. There. Okay, okay, I got that. Let me stick that. Hang on, let me pause it. Okay, so Jade is ready to pour. That's the green. Just make sure not to get it on the wood yeah. frame. Don't I have to go in like a certain pattern or something? Well, that's how, it's the pattern in your mind. So try to pour it out in the pattern you want. Tell me where it's going. Is it going? Yep, it's all pouring out. It's pretty well empty. Okay. Guide me to empty spots. Okay, empty spots. You have a clear spot over there. Okay, tilt it up. We'll come back, pour a little more there. Get some in the middle too. I will. Okay, there's an empty spot 
There. Drizzle some over the top. Okay. There you go. And then here, I'm going to hand you the paintbrush and try to scrape the edges and get all of it out of that one. There you go. There you go. Okay. Now, you can just, do you want to drizzle the white on right now or do you want to get that epoxy all mixed in and marbled the way you want it? There you go. Make sure it goes all the way up to the edges, the corners. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what color are you mixing right now, do you think? Mostly green. Mm-hmm. Good job. You're just barely touching the blue there. Yep, the blue is right in there. And it actually, it's okay if he gets a little bit, because, you know, we sand it off anyway. And he'll be able to feel where the epoxy landed on the frame. Okay, you missed a little section up in the left corner. Yep. And across the top. Yep. There you go. There. And then the bottom right. Well, just feel around. See if you can feel where there's no epoxy. So what kind of uh, image are you envisioning? Almost, I don't know right now. You don't know? You're just playing with it? Like mixing the colors? Is it kind of swirling? Um, yeah, it is actually. What happens when I do that? Uh, it, well, it's kind of blending them together. Okay. So if you want, we can, um, you can pour the pigments directly on top if you want like a vein of color that's a little bit darker. Because right now it's your blues and greens are okay, mom. Yeah, put just enough to where it's like a really ominous glacier cave moon shining through blue, kind of in stripes going like that. Kind of in a stripe. Just like well, three I'm just gonna hand so. okay, just three. I, I want you like four. Okay, but going like a like pattern. that, kind of like a, a tiger stripe. Okay, I just made three. Blue and then that streaks. green. Uh huh. Will it go sea foam? Um. Yes, with the white. Okay, then go like that. Go shoo shoo. Which show me again with your hands? Okay, across that way. Mm -hmm. And then I'll hand you the white. Hang on, I gotta pause this. I gotta get like there's the, and you just put cuts through the fabric. Okay, say so it again. So I'm gonna no. go the opposite uh -huh. direction like, yeah, now. Just like that. Just like that. Get one like going like that, one going from edge to edge. And then... Okay, and then I'm gonna hand you the cup of white. Okay. It's much thinner, so you're gonna use your paintbrush to just kind of drizzle it over top, and then you can use your fingers again to. Okay, it's coming out in like droplets. Yeah, that stuff is kind of smelly. About how much white do you think you want in there? Just here and there. Just, Just here and there? Okay. Oh, that's a lot of white there. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, it's fine if there's a splotch here and there. Okay. Okay. All right. We'll just set that aside. And then I'll and then, go like this. And that is creating swirls. Okay, good. So use your fingers and, and do the motions that you were telling me to do. Give me a second. Okay. That's looking really pretty. So in your 
bottom. Which, which way did you, did the green go? The green you Went had like me that. do from from this corner down. Yeah, and, and then, then the, the blue like starts that. from your right top. Yeah. It goes like that or like that? No, like that. Okay. Let's go. And then. Yeah. That look good? Yeah. You have a big pool of white in the right bottom mm -hmm, right corner. There you go. It's okay if it looks like it has a little bit of vitiligo. <laughs> What's vitiligo? For the people who don't know. I don't know how to describe it. It's like a loss of pigment on in hair. Yep, and eyes. that's exactly what it is. All right. And I am done. You're done. Okay, we'll take off the gloves. Do you want to heat gun it real quick for I the bubbles? Sure not to. Okay, I'll do that part then. Okay, I just torched it for Jade just to get the bubbles out. I said I just torched it for you to get the bubbles out, but I left it exactly the way you did it. The white is starting to like move around and create these cells in the colors. What do you mean cells? Um, you know like foam on a lake? Or in a wave? Sure. The white kind of does that when it interacts with the epoxy. Huh? It makes yeah. Not sure if you like that. Uh, I, for what I was envisioning, it was just like... Just like a solid white? A, a white marbled in. Well, it's definitely marbled in, but... Yeah, but I don't want it to look like whatever. As long as it looks good, I'm going to fuck it. Uh, can we not use that word? Sorry. Okay, I'm going to cover it so we don't get any dust or hairs on it. I'm just going to use a canvas with plastic on it, and then we're going to just set this aside, and we'll peek at it in about tomorrow morning, 24 hours.